making mindfulness fun. Yes, we are in our RV studio today. In fact, if you've been following us, you notice that we have two RVs. This is true because it depends on the type of travel we do. So today in this series, we are sharing signs and symptoms of a blocked heart chakra. Now, in the previous three videos, when we showed signs and symptoms of a blocked root chakra, sacral chakra, and solar plexus chakra, we forgot to show you this amazing Check that out. Chakra Ooh, Healing look Book. How pretty. This has everything that we cover. Okay. All the things for each chakra. We talk about why it got blocked, how you'll feel when it's balanced, the path to growth. It has worksheets um, for journaling. It has mantras that you can print out. It has amazing recipes, recipes and yoga poses. So you're going to want to get this. But let's talk today about signs and symptoms of a blocked heart chakra. But before we do that, if this is your first time to our channel, I'm Gabby. I'm Isabel. I'm Robin. Here at Making Mindfulness Fun, we help you on your journey to higher consciousness so you can experience more joy, love, and emotional liberation. Before we get into the video though, please make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and turn on those post notifications because we put out a video every single day about Enneagram chakras, you name it, so that you can make your mindfulness practice more fun. Okay, so we don't want to make it so um, feel so bad when you have a blocked one. And so I'm going to start the blocked heart chakra with myself. This is the chakra that's the hardest for me to work through. And one of the ways you can tell that you have blocked heart chakra is posture. See those rolled in shoulders? See that closed in chest? As you, as you have a little bit of a protective layer with that blocked heart chakra, you tend to round in and feel guarded. And so opening that heart chakra space, literally opening it, is a great way to help you open your heart chakra. And as you do, I know personally, I have to spend a lot of time working on opening like posturally through yoga, but also in my mind, working on forgiveness. Like we all have our own past trauma. We all have our hurts that are hard to get over. But the more we actively release those, the more we practice meta meditations, like the girls are gonna describe, the more that we can just forgive ourselves for not being perfect, the easier it is to forgive our parents or our loved ones or someone who uh, maybe came into our life and is no longer part of our life. The more we can forgive, the better it is for our heart chakra, the easier it is to open. And it's really important because our heart chakra is the center point. Mm -hmm. And another sign and symptom of a blocked heart chakra, remember with this whole series is that with the chakras, signs and symptoms of each block, each chakra being blocked can be physical or emotional and they play hand in hand. So for example, the heart chakra has to do with, you know, heart things, love and stuff, but it also has to do with your heart area. So another symptom of a blocked heart chakra is circulation problems. And I've actually seen this personally in some people I know, but if you have a blocked heart chakra, you might have trouble with circulation in your body and getting your blood pumping. Maybe this comes through numb fingertips or toes, or you just have trouble warming your body. That could be because you have a heart chakra problem. And that's not to say just because you get cold easily, mm -hmm. you suddenly have a heart blocked heart chakra. Take Take some mindfulness into this. Notice what it is. But that could be a reason, that uh, sign of your heart chakra being blocked. Yeah, another symptom that of a blocked uh, heart chakra, and this, this one's more emotional, mental, taking some mindfulness practice into account, is to notice if you have difficulty trusting people or having this difficulty with this feeling of betrayal. And this is kind of similar to what you talked about, but it is this more present um tangible uh, aspect of noticing do I have difficulty trusting people in the moment do I feel this have this preconceived notion that people are going to betray me and another aspect that we could also tie into this would be a weakened immune system and these two work together hand in hand a weakened immune system is often the physical manifestation of not feeling like we can trust the people around us and open our heart chakras. And it's interesting, if you follow our podcast, Defy the Norm, you'll know on the very first episode I talked about that that was one of the things that started my life journey is when uh, I was in high school, I was an overachiever, but I never felt really heard. I always was great and people say, wow, I'm so proud of you for um, getting straight A's and being so successful in your school. But deep down I felt like, gosh, nobody, nobody like really cares about who I am. They just care about what I do. And that area of betrayal is really, um, 
something that like we've talked about with type eights, type eights in general, we we're such overachievers. It's really hard for us to trust other people and to be vulnerable with our emotions. And it's funny to see how, uh, because this one affects me so much to see how what they talked about brings it together. So I can tell you when I was probably in high school that I had horrible circulation. My toes and fingers were always numb or frozen. I would take niacin when I'd go to school because to increase my circulation, I never, I rarely have trouble with that. Now, when we're skiing and it's negative degrees, (laughs) I do have hand warmers, but overall it's improved a lot. And so it's such... Uh, An interesting thing as you start to learn to see how the chakras and the Enneagram can all tie together and how they manifest physically. Yeah. And one more thing I wanted to mention about having a blocked heart chakra. The heart chakra can be really hard for us to regulate and it's really hard for us to keep in balance because we can fall so easily on one end or the other. One end of being either super closed and not compassionate, very harsh and brutal and not loving. But then on the other end, we can also end up on being overly giving. I think this is especially big for Enneagram type twos. Type ones will probably more fall on the other side of resentment, but type twos will fall more on this over giving side. And especially I would like to also mention, notice if you have a lot of mom guilt, that could also end up causing you heart chakra blockages because mom guilt literally has to do with a heart chakra because you know, you want to give to your kids. That's a great, but notice if you're Uh, abandoning the self doing it. So how can you uh, open and heal your heart chakra? One way to do it is through self love. And that can be practiced in many, many ways. Just how can you take care of yourself? Uh, Maybe you do this through love, uh, fulfilling your love language or taking a self care day, practice self love. Yeah, the next one that you can work on is actually do physical chest openers because we talked about tightness in the chest is a symptom of a blocked heart chakra. Well, to counterbalance that, you have to practice chest openers. So sometimes it's nice to do just passive um, yoga yoga stretches, like when you, if you lie down on the floor and you place um, a block um, on the upper area of your back and then you just let your chest fall open, that's a great way to passively, and, and I think that was especially powerful because your heart chakra really is asking you to soften to reach this point of balance, unless maybe you're on, on the overgiving end, but a lot of times you just need to soften your heart chakra, and so instead of trying to like close off and be uh, guarded in this um, uh, intensive energy within, you're in a surrendering state. And the last one is through a meta meditation. Now, meta meditations are pretty powerful. They are not easy to do, but um, it's really important to start by first um, finding forgiveness for yourself. Uh, that one might be for some people might be a little bit harder, but overall, try to find, try to really celebrate whatever wins. Everybody has small wins. Okay, lots of us have big wins too, but start with a win. Really feel gratitude for that. Then extend loving kindness to somebody you care about a lot. So if you're a parent, it's very easy to, to your kids and think about filling them with love. And I'm probably missing one. Um, then you're going to extend it to a complete stranger, somebody you don't even know. Uh, maybe somebody you walk by at the grocery store, walk past at the park, somebody that you don't really know at work, but you see them all the time. And then you do it to somebody who's an enemy, like somebody you really can't stand. They hurt you. You're so angry at them, but you're going to practice giving forgiveness. And I think this meta can be applied very um, easily to the times that we live in because it seems like we're very polarized, whether we're left versus right, whether we're pro this and con that, whether whatever our emotional stance is or where we want um, to put our faith in, Um, I think it's really important for us to show loving kindness towards everybody. We travel so much and we see that everybody in the world really is trying their best for the most part. 99.9% of people are good people trying their best. They don't necessarily have the same opportunities um, as we do or as you might have. So if you can practice just having that element of compassion, it's a really big thing. Mm -hmm. And then I wanted to add on because I noticed you couldn't think of the last one. The last one is you actually all did them in the right order. Then after you picture the enemy, you also picture sending loving kindness to the entire world, the entire unity consciousness. So a last thing I'd recommend for healing your heart chakra is if you really want to dive deep, make sure you check out Power, Passion, and Productivity, our one-week course where we take you through each of the chakras for one day and give you a complete guide to what that chakra is, how to heal it using fun activities. We give you playlists. We give you yoga flows. It's super fun. The link is in the description below. Please leave a comment if you enjoyed this video and if it resonates. If you have any questions, leave a comment below as well and stay tuned for our throat chakra signs and symptoms of a blockage video.